Hi, my name is Maud. This is my second season. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm from Holland in a very small village in the south of Holland, so it's so small and no Starbucks, nothing. You never see people with coffee on the street. It's, it's just so small. I was in Paris with school on a school trip and then somebody scouted me. So I came home and I told my mom and we just searched on the internet and then we came in contact with an agency in Holland and that's my first time and they invited me to come to the agency so I took some pictures and then I was a model. <laughs> Um, what do I like about it? I just like to learn new people and travel and see some nice cities. I like New York. Paris is nice too, but I like New York more. Paris is nice, but it's the last city, so you start to get tired. I wear a skirt. I wear the blues and, and a hat and boots. Yeah, and a nice jacket. It's really nice, really beautiful. When I started, I thought this heel was high. But now, I don't think this is really high. Maybe it is high, but I don't feel it because the heel is so uh, comfortable. High heels aren't the only obstacle Maud has encountered as a model. Their rigorous backstage beauty routine has also taken some getting used to. Not like, yeah, go in hair and makeup. It's just, you have to do it. It's, of course, part of the job, but after so much shows and after so much hair and makeup, sometimes you think like, okay, now don't touch my, because the eyes start to hurt and it sometimes just hurt, you know, the brushes and everything at, at the last moment, everything hurts. Every show is different and then you're rock, then you're sexy, then you're natural, then you're, it can be everything with makeup. When it comes to her future, Maud is mature beyond her 17 years. I would like to work with children, teach them or something like that. At first, I want a model, I want to be a model, and then let's see what happens, let's see how it goes, and then I decide what I want. Bye. <laughs>